Welcome to a self-service video. In this video, we're going to discuss and show how uh, the commodity code or the category uh, can appear within guided buying. While creating uh, an ad hoc line item within guided buying, the chooser uh, could show the list of values in a couple of different ways. One way, uh, it can be a, a simple list, uh, just a flat list of the commodities of the categories, or uh, by changing a parameter, um, it can appear in a, in a tree menu or in hierar hierarchical uh, list uh, as, uh, you, as users uh, are typically used to seeing it in the legacy UI within, within uh, Buyer. So uh, this is all controlled by a parameter called Enable Tree Menu Chooser. And this parameter um, is not a legacy UI parameter. It is a parameter within Guided Buying. So in order to be able to change it, you have to have admin access within Guided Buying. So let's take a look uh, inside uh, Guided Buying. Uh, in order to create a non-catalog or ad hoc item, it can be a tile. It can be uh, showing up in, in many different places. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and click on quick click links and add uh, ad hoc item. Um, and then here, the category, this is the commodity. When you look at the chooser, you can see now that it's set up to be uh, a, men a menu structure. So if you wanted to change it to be a flat structure or if you have it just as a simple list and want to change it to a menu structure, uh, let me show you how to do that within guided buying. So I'm going to get out of this uh, menu structure here. So if you have admin access, you'll see these lines here. And then within admin, um, find the parameter section. Here it is. Uh, click on Manage Parameters. And then look for that uh, Enable um, Menu uh, Tree uh, structure. So let's look at that parameter, Enable Tree Menu Chooser. And then from here, you can, uh, so the, the default is false, uh, and we have changed it to true. Um, so we can re revert it back to false, or, you know, or just if you have false already, you can click on change value and just change it back to true and click change value. So that's how you would control it. Once you, um, you know, once you save this change, uh, and log out, log back in, uh, you should see, um, um, or it could take, you know, a few, few minutes, you should see that it, uh, that this uh, has changed the behavior within the chooser of the category or the commodity code.